types of things. We've seen a lot of situations, a little bit pre-quarantine, um, where Jen actually lost to um, Rivers. So just speaking of that, I'm really looking for what we're going to see here in this set because I, I truthfully don't think that, you know, Diddy doesn't lose this matchup. If we're going to be completely honest. You think Diddy loses? Or? No, that literally does, Diddy doesn't lose. So Diddy wins. Essentially. Yeah, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. yeah I, I also agree that Diddy wins this matchup just because Palu... Um, it, Paul is a character that is not really going to be approaching you too much. You know, she has such insane, like, tools to just stop you where you are and create this, like, defensive wall in neutral. But um, because of that, Diddy, Diddy's, like, both smallness and the usage of banana is really able to blow up those, like, bear walls or those, like, retreating aerials. You can just throw a banana, and now you're tripped, and now you're taking 70, you know? So, mm -hmm. And I definitely love the way that, you know... Wow, Utopian Ray has really been trying to just avoid everything that Steven has been throwing out. However, ooh, this is looking a little bit scary for Utopian Ray at 120%. This is kind of where Diddy struggles. However, we might not see Diddy struggle too much if he can't actually take this stock off just entirely yet. Okay. Yeah, it, it's going to be important um, that you don't let Palu run away with too much because this is a character that you really can't afford to do reckless approaches in. And that was a great call out right there from uh, Steven. Just running up and F smashing because they figured uh, Ray would not be um, throwing out an option immediately on the rollback. Did you see that F smash? Did you, you saw what I saw that you had yeah, seen. Yeah, what I saw. Ray was trying <laughs> to get a really hard read. <laughs> That's literally so crazy. But speaking of hard reads, I definitely love a lot of these explosive flame placements and these up smash placements, literally just calling out, you know, whatever Steven wants to do. Doesn't even have a chance to just kind of get their footing. You know, they're at 114% and they're one back throw away from actually losing their second stock. Ooh, they need some option to be able to kind of just like control the pace of this game right now And, and I think that option really would be oh, that's a super unfortunate right there the wow. final hit magic to somehow clip Diddy But well, do you think that yeah, that option was... would be banana. I don't think uh, we've seen Steven use it too much and I think it's really good to like stop these like jump nares right there because if you see Palu jump nearing Banana will go right through that nair and hit her so it's it's a really good option Another thing is, too, we're not really seeing a lot of situations where Steven is trying to play a lot more grounded. You know, although, you know, um, Diddy's tools are really good, that was a very nice color on the, mm -hmm. you know, roll away right there. However, they need to place, you know, a lot of their movement options really well when it comes to just, like, you know, playing in this matchup because Paulu will call out every single aerial approach option that you do have. But speaking of calling out aerial approach options, that up smash is going to take it. And now we're kind of at an even game at this point. Yeah. Even stocks, you know. Um, it's definitely Divi has pr a pretty strong punish game if you're really on point. So you can make up this percent pretty quickly. But also, um, Divi's size, oh, up throw down here. Not something you see too often. It definitely is a thing. But speaking of combos, it's looking like a little bit of a scary position, okay. especially for both these players getting comboed on at the ledge. Right now, 61% Utopian Ray is kind of just trying to fight their way back onto stage and just trying to end this stock as soon as possible because they oh. don't want to deal with that a monkey with the banana in him. Very fortunate for Steven right there that that up tilt managed to grab the banana being thrown at him. Otherwise, that would have been the stock. Ooh. I, I like the call out attempt right here, but now Ray has banana, Ooh. and that was a really good um, trap right there. He throw the banana up. Steven feels the need to air dodge it, and that's just gonna let Ray react and up up air. So really and clean stuff for sure. Even if um, you know Steven did actually catch that banana, they still would have been in a position where you know up air was still right there. So yeah, mm -hmm. honestly, that was a really good stock and game from Utopian Ray. We love this. Yeah, I think Steven um, could definitely take a game. It's just a few things um, they should brush up on in the sense that um, I think they got to be careful with how they're running into Palu. Um, you get kind of shut down by a lot of like back airs and dash attacks. Um, and also, I think using Banana more could go a long way. But now this is a totally different matchup of um, 
Banjo and Diddy. And, you know, I think Diddy beats Palu, and you would think um, if they beat Palu, they could definitely beat Banjo. But Diddy's a character who famously struggles with these, like, zoner, really, like, projectile heavy zoner archetypes. Um, I know, like, Diddy struggles with Young Link, struggles with Pac Man, struggles with Mega Man. So I could see Banjo being a bit tricky. You know, especially since Banjo has probably one of the most non committal options, I think, in my opinion. It's essentially, um, you know, Grenade, where you can kind of just throw it out, and it's just like, what do you do now? Like, you can catch it, but then Banjo is literally right there to throw out any tool and can just even get aggressive with it while also catching Grenade. And speaking of getting a little bit aggressive, that up smash, or up smash, sorry, was very aggressive, but gonna end in some unfavorable percent for Utopian Ray over here. Ooh, that dash attack kills. Wow! Oh, and a little dance right there. That was more than a little dance. They were just doing a little rave party. That's so crazy. Oh, and okay. wow. Run up, um, F smash on the down tilt. It was, I think it looked like Ray almost wonder wing the wrong direction. So it might have been a misinput coming out. And can we also talk about this item play that Utopian Ray has? They have been, they have been, I don't know, they have been dancing with the grenade, and it's a little bit of a moment right now. Yeah, I know Ray loves playing um, his banjo, so definitely in character, a ton of time in, knows how to use that grenade really effectively. Weird, but speaking of using Good chase tools, down right there, with that dash attack on the wall. Absolutely. And we're just kind of seeing a lot more of an even game, I feel like. You know, Utopian Ray is at 90%, and this can be a stock if we actually see some very bad option coming out right now. Yeah. <laughs> Two Wonder Wings in a row is going to actually make it. So now Steven is losing in percent. Um, that move is really devastating. Um, and will now kill Steven, I'm pretty sure, from pretty much everywhere. Ooh. And, and that, that, is, that is a classic. Uh, very, um, It's a very like big 50-50 on whether you mash or not. Absolutely, for sure. I definitely love the way that, you know, Utopian Ray is kind of showing a little bit of, you know, not really, like, being too scared. Honestly, because there's a lot of situations where they should be getting called out for a lot of the bomb pulls that they have and just their positioning, especially where, you know, Diddy's on the ground. Like, that's probably, they want to focus more on, like, landing, but they kind of just get away with landing for free, essentially. And that's kind of what happened the last game. You know, we saw a lot of situations where, you know, um, what's it called? Steven would be trying to... Oh, no. Ooh. No. Oh. Oh, oh. That is tragic. A buffered air dodge after an aerial right there. Probably wanted to land and shield. Not how you like to see a set end. Steven definitely was trying... It was starting to, like, figure some things out. Um, had some things going for him, but... Yeah, right there. Probably wanted to, like, air dodge in and grab the banana. But tragic. No. No. Sag. I uh, respect Ray for the attempt of saving. There was no saving Diddy there. Yeah. That was so sad. But it's okay. You live and you learn. Live